Hey you guys, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I really wanted to get creative and do an experiment for you guys. And that experiment is going to be silk pillowcase versus cotton pillowcase. You know how you wake up and you just kind of have like, like literally like your hair is just like a haystack, you know? I really messed up my hair doing that. But I just kind of wanted to give you like, I that's what Ryan wakes up to every morning. I'm sorry, Ryan. Today I wanted to review for you all the Slip Pure Silk Cover Pillowcase. I was cruising for a solution to fix how I wake up every morning. I don't know, that kind of sounded kind of a little intense on this like terrible health problem. No, um, <laughs> I don't. I just have an oily scalp. And I've read somewhere that um, sometimes the culprit can be your very own pillowcase. And I'm like, oh, I guess all that makes sense, but I wasn't really sure about what about the pillowcase was retaining and absorbing all the oil and the dirt and even the products that you put on your skin and on your hair. Ta-da! Here it is. Honestly, you guys, first impressions, it feels so nice. It feels really cool to the touch, and that is actually really important to me because I don't know about you guys, but I really like to sleep um, on the cool side of my pillowcase. This is the package that it came in. It says it's anti-aging, anti-sleep crease, and anti-bedhead. You had me at anti-bedhead, let's be real. Um, and even worse, I'll like look in the mirror and I'll see like a zit. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Or, you know, it's all sometimes in my T-bone area or in this area, it's really, it's oily or greasy. Ugh. On the back here, it says the slip silk difference. Refined over 10 years to provide the ultimate combination of shine, thickness, softness and durability with thickness of 22 mom <laughs> is that how you pronounce it worth 85 dollars we'll find out so here is my experiment tonight i actually shampooed and conditioned my hair first sleeping on the slip silk pillowcase and kind of showing you the very next morning when I wake up, I'll go, I'll run right to the bathroom and show you what, what, what's going on. What's the situation basically? Like, tell me, tell me what's going on. Give me the tea. This is what my hair looks like. Again, I just washed it, so it's not going to look anything crazy. Don't look for it. But I'm going to tell you my routine typically on a weekly basis. So on day one, I would shower normally, condition, shampoo, the works. And then on day two, I typically like to, you know, just kind of check out the situation and say, oh, do I need dry shampoo? Spritz, spritz, spritz. And then on the third day, dry shampoo is the homie. So I really don't, I, I kind of spritz a little, a little bit more on. And usually when I'm in the locker room, I kind of back away from everyone because there's like literally like a huge mist of dry shampoo around me. And on the fourth day, I will, my hair is normal. After my experiment with phase one is over, I will I will torture myself and I will leave off the dry shampoo. And I'm a little kind of like, ah! I'm going to sleep on this cotton pillowcase again and um, I'm not going to use any dry shampoo. I'm going to do it the normal, my usual routine. And at the end of the third day, I'm going to show you like the result. Yeah. That's that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to run in the bathroom and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm working with. Later. Okay, you guys, I just woke up and I wanted to give you all an update of my hair. <laughs> um, here it is. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty straight. Like... I'll show you the roots of my hair. I don't notice any oily scalp or anything. Um, I did not touch it, I promise. Um, I didn't brush it, I didn't run my hands through it. 
This is how I woke up. So far, so good. It does not look greasy at all. This is, this is the update. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is day two of sleeping on the slip silk pillowcase. And this is the results. You know the drill. Here is my root area. What's happening guys? I just got done um, testing out the slip silk pillow and now it is time for the cotton one. So I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and show you guys the results. My hair right now is clean, I shampooed, I conditioned. That you guys can decide for yourself whether or not getting the silk pillow is worth it or just sticking with your cotton pillow. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning and show you the results. This is the morning after with my cotton pillow. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I last slept on it, so... Yeah, here it is. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the roots. I haven't taken a close look at them, so... Yet, I just kind of wanted to immediately show you guys of what's, what's going on. A lot more wavier. Um, there's a lot more frizz happening and just general puffiness. There's a lot more static happening in my hair. I don't miss my cotton pillow, but for the sake of the experiment, we're gonna go into day two and I'll show you guys tomorrow morning what it looks like. Good morning. This is the final day um, with the cotton pillow. This is the result. <laughs> this is the back. So I'm gonna fix my hair for a second now that we're done with the experiment. <laughs> and back. Is the slip pillow cover worth it? Yes. During this experiment, I have found more success having my hair the way it was the night before. I had so much fun doing this experiment and I cannot wait for the next one. Leave some ideas below in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe, support the channel, and check out my blog alexislife.com where I've uploaded pictures of every single day chronicling this whole experiment. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye